Hello, literature enthusiasts. Today, we're taking a closer look at Panem's notorious leader, Coriolanus Snow. Let's look at how his character and journey masterfully embody the theme of survival. And when we think of survival in the Hunger Games universe, our minds often drift to the tributes, right? Battling it out in the arena against all odds. But Suzanne Collins and her narrative genius gives us a different perspective on survival through the young Snow. Before we dive into Snow's character, let's quickly recap the plot. In the prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Suzanne Collins transports readers back to Panem, 64 years before Katniss Everdeen's time, during the 10th annual Hunger Games. The novel centers around a young Coriolanus Snow, who, despite his family's dwindling status in the capital, is determined to regain their former prestige. And assigned to mentor Lucy Gray Bear to tribute from District 12, Snow begins a complex relationship with her, marked by both genuine affection and political manipulation. And as the story unfolds, readers witness the early stages of the Hunger Games, the political intricacies of the capital, and the transformative events that lay the groundwork for Snow's eventual rise as the tyrannical president of Panem. Now, Let's zero in on the enigma that is Coriolanus Snow from the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. First, have you ever wondered about the weight behind that name? Coriolanus isn't just a unique pick from the baby name book. It traces back to Shakespeare's Roman general, a figure defined by pride, power struggles, and a tumultuous relationship with his people. Sound familiar? And then there's Snow, evoking images of coldness, purity, and perhaps emotional isolation. Quite apt for our cold and calculating leader at Panem, wouldn't you say? But back to our young Snow. Just as his name suggests, he's navigating the socio-political intricacies of the capital, seeking to restore his family's honor. Every choice, every alliance is colored by his ambition, survival instincts, and the legacy of his name. His mentoring of Lucy Gray Baird isn't just about the Hunger Games. It's a reflection of his own survival game. Their relationship, though filled with genuine moments, is often overshadowed by Snow's constant strategic maneuvering. Remember these lines? He needed to stop this. He had a talent and it wasn't singing. It was becoming someone else. Just not a very nice someone else. This quote is indicative of Snow's self-awareness about his capability for manipulation and deceit, traits that certainly come to play with his relationship with Lucy Gray. And throughout the novel, readers witness his ongoing internal battle between genuine feelings for Lucy and the strategies of the game he feels compelled to play for his personal advancement. Does he care for her? Absolutely. But can he afford to let emotions override his survival instincts? That's the real question. But here's the catch. Snow's survival isn't merely physical. It's about social standing, political aspirations, and even psychological endurance. Panem and its post-war fragility requires its players, especially in the capital, to be ever vigilant, ever scheming. Suzanne Collins brilliantly weaves Snow's arc around this central theme, and as readers we may not always root for him, but we certainly understand him. And in many ways, isn't that what great literature is about? Connecting, understanding, and dare I say, surviving the emotional roller coasters of its characters. Snow's characterization is a masterful lesson on the multidimensional aspects of survival, showing us that sometimes the most intense battles aren't fought in the arena, but within the confines of one's mind and heart. So, did Snow's survival journey resonate with you? Let's discuss it in the comments below. And if you found this analysis enlightening, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more literary delights. And until our next literary journey, happy reading.